I always think about active learning strategies um, as an instructor, but also as a student myself. And I love using hypothesis and social annotation because it makes anything come more alive. So think, for example, you know, a year ago uh, from today, when we were all, you know, working remotely, or if you're a student, learning remotely. And social annotation is a great way to make a document come alive. So in my context, we use articles, research papers, websites, and hypothesis, and then we're able to have the students annotate that in real time and then also respond. So I will talk about later how we're using that in the high flex mode, but if you're just working remotely now or students are working remotely, you can still use that social annotation to create that sense of community, which is so needed, especially now.